predict. And I can tell you, I've been doing this all my life. I'm an engineer and an engineer is like numbers, you know, uh, and uh, so until and unless I'm able to quantify something and I sort of, I'm able to do some trend analysis, I, I, I'm not, and I'd like to predict. And if I'm not able to predict, then I have a problem. We keep on, and I kept on working using probabilities, whether you like it or not, a prediction is always based on probability. Ah, there is a higher probability of this situation happening because in the past, you know, I could understand and I could see this. We keep on working on probabilities. We keep on trying to predict under situations which do not allow us to do that. And that is why we get disrupted. We need to therefore shift into a mindset of possibilities. Possibilities in a digital era. Very, very important. And please keep this in mind. A possibility, why is a possibility a possibility? A possibility is a possibility because somewhere in our mind, we are certain about some aspects about what we are seeing. So we know some facts. So when there is some level of certainty and we some level of we do know, what can happen is we need to shift into a mindset of possibilities and how do we do that? Keep this in mind. There is some certainty which I have of some information and I know certain things. What I'm doing is I need to shift my mind why, which is always playing with this large uncertain space and large do not know space to whatever little space I have in my mind of what I know and what I'm certain about. If I'm get the ability and we will see how to get that ability. We will learn this as part of this workshop. Then <laughs> Mr. Roy, I think it was Mr. Roy. There's a sound. Okay, we start feeling empowered, not disempowered feeling because we have shifted into that space of knowing something and being certain about something. We start looking at hard trends. Technology is a hard trend. Technology, so that information, and there are several hard trend. Hard trend is something going to happen. That is going to happen based on that small information bit that I have about certain and what I know. And when that happens, I intuitively start taking a low risk strategy. I start gaining confidence and focus. And I start negotiating the VUCA environment. And we become disruptors. We are not the disrupted. We shift from that to become disruptors. This is what we, what I would like to see in a very simplistic theory. And you may say, ah, okay, it's very, very simple, but also how do I do this? All this is great. But I mean, you know, if I'm faced with a problem, I, I become uncertain. I become afraid. I become, you know, I don't know what to do. So how do I do that? And this is what we're going to do starting, you know, from now on, let's, so there are actually certain actions. I would like you to understand this and maybe if you want to make some notes, you can. So how do we do the shift, like I said? So we do the shift by creating your own context. And you create this context from hard trends. Like I said, technology is a hard trend, there are other hard trends. And you do this in three categories. And let's try and understand how do we do that. So one is demographics. You have to be clear about the demographics which is prevailing in that situation which you are looking at. The second is regulatory aspects. Are there any regulations? And I'll, we will look at this uh, from an example, then maybe it will become a little clear. And the number three is uh, technology. So three things, demographics, regulatory, and technology. So let's take an example, otherwise you will not understand. And so this is the kind of inquiry that you will do for each of these things. And you, there are some questions there, but I'm going to take an example.